It was hard leaving you, Ange. You look so lovely, though. They've done a right nice job of your makeup, and you've got your lovely blue dress on, your favourite one. It was really hard, though, having to say cheerio and knowing I'd never see you again. But you did look beautiful. That's the loveliest you've looked for a very long time, restful and peaceful. I saw Danny in yeah, I could see little Danny's face in your face. It was nice. It reminded me that birthday. You remember he was five or six and we gave him Thomas the Tank Engine cake and he was absolutely thrilled. That was a nice memory. He was a nice little kid. He's a lovely little boy. We've known each other a long time, haven't we, love? Six years old when we first met. We were both on a, brought up on a housing estate in the back of beyond. No money. But we had a good childhood, both of us. I've ever so happy with each other and with what we had. Your lot were Catholics, though, so it was a bit harder for you. Your mother was on your back all the time. I remember going up to the wreck just to get away from it all, flirting with the lads later on when we were teenagers finding out what life was supposed to be about. You had more followers than I did, though. I wasn't keen on the lads. They were too rough for me. Then we got a bit older and I grew some boobs. I grew big boobs and the boys wouldn't leave me alone for a while. Me, with big boobs. But then you developed and you were quite something else, very pretty. We were still the best of mates, even though... You didn't have as much time for me as you used to have. And then you met Bill. And that ruined everything. For a long time. I warned you, I told you it was bad news. We were only 17 and you got knocked up immediately almost. And then, uh, I don't know, there was all kinds of trouble to deal with. Your mum was upset and his parents were upset. and. But he did the right thing by you. He married you, even though he was a bit older than you. He was 19 and he was 17. I was 17. He got very reluctantly married to you. He never gave off, never left off going out with the lads. All his love of cars. Cars and horses and gambling. and He was a proper lad pints in the pub, left you on your own for hours and hours and under. He didn't want a baby, he didn't want one at all. But you were Catholic and you'd done it, so you decided you were going to go through with it. And so little Danny got born. Beautiful little baby. And then you never saw Bill at all. He didn't like stinking up his and crying all night. He was off with the lads. But we did it. Between us, I was always there for you, always ready to look after the baby when you'd had enough or wash his nappies go to the shops for you and then when he was a bit older we went shopping together all of us you and me and Danny Bill was years and years on the razzle he, anything with a skirt on he'd follow and he used to break your heart because not so much because you loved him but because you were humiliated by him it hurt your feelings the first time you were devastated and I sat and held you while you cried. And... But then he didn't get any better as the years went on. He got worse, if anything. Until that day when Danny went to school on the bus in the rain, stepped off at the back, crossed the road and got killed. The bloke was only about 19 himself. He was drunk from the night before. Didn't see anything. It was foggy and misty and wet. Danny just died. And that changed everything. Bill slowed down, he didn't go out as much, he stayed down with you and looked after you, even though the marriage had had a bad blow. You still seemed to have something left, and you wouldn't divorce him because of your Catholic background. I got a job in the supermarket, and I did all right, and I got to be manager, and I had to wear a suit in the end, the black suit every day. You hated black, you never liked black. But I had to wear this black suit every day and I got on and out. I made some friends, 
and you got on with your life for a few years and we sort of didn't see as much of one another. I had a little flat and I didn't know how to cook and I didn't know how to look after it and he used to come around and teach me how to cook. And, and then the next thing you know, Bill's got cancer. And it's a quick one. It devours him really fast. So we shared the nursing of him. I came round as often as I could and in between jobs and in the end, at the very end, I moved in to help you look after him night and day. For about a year we looked after him. We nursed him right up until he died. And by that time, we had a kind of relationship, me and him, we got on because we had to for you. I never really liked him though. He wasn't my kind of man. I didn't have a kind of a man, really. All I had in my life was the job and you and Danny until poor little Danny died. Anyway, we looked after Bill. We looked after him, he had a good ending. About two years it was, from start to finish. And then stressed, tired out, exhausted. Couldn't stop crying, either of us in the end. So I'd stayed with you. I stayed with you in the house and never went back to my little flat, sold it in the end. Carried on with the job, went to work every day, came back to you. And you were a long time getting over Bill's death. And then gradually, as time went on, we grew closer and closer together and ended up being what we always were. We were lovers and we'd always been lovers. We just never needed to declare it. It was never spoken. There was no word for it. We didn't know there was such a thing as lesbianism. That word was a word we never knew. We'd grown up on a house in a state where words like that were not used. Insults like queer and weird, but not that word lesbianism. We didn't know we were lesbians. And we weren't, in all, to all intents and purposes. We never slept together. We never even kissed each other in that way. Only the sort that you, you kiss like your mum and dad or your sisters. That's not the only sort. We often had our arms around each other. We even slept in the same bed lots of times over the, the, over the years. But we never actually declared our love. Not until four or five years ago and then all of, us, all of a sudden overnight it was how it should always have been. We were together as a couple, proper, sleeping in the same bed, making love. It was lovely. We had five, four or five years of that, nearly five years before you, you got sick and it was nasty. You'd been poorly a long time, and we didn't know it. And by the time we got you to the doctors, there wasn't much time left. But what there was, we made the best of. We were really happy. We had lovely times. Laughed and had days out, went to the seaside, went to the pictures, talked about Danny. It was very hard to say goodbye to you today, aren't you? Leave you there on your own in that box. Really, really hard. But I'm not sorry and I'm not sad. Eventually we found each other properly, even though we'd spent all those years being just good friends. I'll miss you, love. It's gonna be a bit dark without you. But I wouldn't have changed a thing.